Hello, my name is Christina Saju, and I am from New York City. My father is Haitian, and um, I would say the origin is of Creole origin, which is Saju. I was always encouraged by my family to always strive for the very top because where we grew up it wasn't like the best neighborhood and actually if you go there now a lot of the people are still kind of doing the same things, loitering in the area, haven't really done much with their lives and so it was always my dream to do something more and my mother encouraged us to actually be a part of the arts so we went to a lot of theater growing up and I remember seeing The Wiz when I was about four years old. There was just something about the response of the audience that I really do remember. And that to me was always very fascinating to see how people respond to theater. That always attracted me, which is why I felt like I had to do this. I love Denver, which is, it, what's really funny is that I actually have been coming to Colorado for the past two decades, because uh, my brother moved out here for college. And he's, you know, now he's raised his family here, and he has a house in Windsor and, and a wife. And so we come and visit every so often, especially for the holidays. But I've never spent enough time in Denver, and I love it. It feels like New York City to me, especially this area where the Denver Center is. It's kind of like a mini Lincoln Center, which I love. There's a lot of activity, a lot of appreciation for the theater. It's so exciting. Well, the first person that came to mind was Marlon Brando. He was an artist that, ever since I was a little girl, just looking at black and white films, he was someone that I was really, really attracted to. I was attracted to his strength. And I would love to actually be a part of his strength, because I think he carries a lot of, um, of power in just the simplest things. He can stare at you, and there's so much coming from the inside. Um, and I, I think he's also very handsome. So. <laughs> The two words that first come to mind are fear and hate. I feel like fear gives people the inability to make good decisions because they are just so afraid to, to be confident, to be secure in the choices that they make. And then also hate because whether they're prejudiced or not, whether people are prejudiced or not, I don't know, there's this like disease where people never choose to love first, but they choose to hate. And I think the hate comes from the fact that you're so fearful of people.